Hello guys. Today I decided to make a bit uh, more different video than the usual ones I did in the past. Um, basically we're going to create um, using the program uh, Shipping Container Home Design Software. Um, we're going to create a very basic uh, looking um, house from um, two or three containers. We will see in the time of uh, working with the program I will decide. And then I'm gonna use another one program. I'm sorry, uh, called Chief Architect, um, which I'm gonna use in order to make the um, interior design of the house. So this time um, I'm not gonna put so much effort of doing the um, um, outside design of the house than the inside uh, design of the house. So I'm gonna give you the approximate um, feel um, of uh, space inside the house um, so you can understand actually what uh, how much space you're gonna get um, when building a house like this okay I'm gonna begin the video now and um, I will uh, explain everything I'm doing in time of uh, working with the software okay we're re ready to uh, begin with our project so um, in this project I'm gonna use um, two 40 feet containers on the first floor and one 20 feet um, container and then on the second floor I'm thinking to use another two 40 feet containers um, which is gonna give us approximately um, about hundreds 40, 135, 140 square meters of uh, living space plus the balconies which we're gonna have uh, which is quite a lot um, I'm trying to use as much less containers possible so um, uh, the project is gonna be more affordable now as I said before in uh, today's video I'm gonna give more effort to the um, uh, interior design that uh, the exterior design uh, so um, in the exterior design I'm gonna fast for uh, when I'm creating the exterior design I'm gonna fast forward because I have so many videos of um, doing exterior design so I think that um, um, you can get my idea of uh, how it works and um, how I actually do it so um, today using the second uh, software which is uh, chief architect I'm gonna create the interior design so you get the actual feeling of the house uh, of the space of the house okay so um, that's how it's gonna be our um, uh, first floor I'm gonna place now the, um, the two containers on the top floor which I have like this I have created um, plenty videos um, until now um, mainly doing the exterior uh, design of the house the exterior look of the house and um, I think it's time it's time to start doing um, the whole project uh, because uh, as you see from my previous videos mainly I give you a floor uh, plan but not actual um, visual mm, on the uh, on the project you can actually see only the exterior of the house so um, that's that's the difference in in this project mm, I don't want to start talking about prices again because um, as you know already the people which you have watched my previous videos I have given uh, plenty of details um, about pricing and uh, approximate cost of building a house like this the only thing I'm gonna mention it's uh, at least 10 to 15 times cheaper than the um, uh, than the um, 
than building um, um, normal house. So um, yeah, uh, Ant is more um, in in design like this. You can use your creativity and um, mm, you're more mm, more free um, to put your your own thoughts uh, in projects like this because. Um, as long as you have secured um, uh, the construction, um, you can do a lot of stuff. It's not like um, building a normal house. Um, everything you decide to do, it has to be consulted with an architect. And um, in time of doing it, actually, you can't proceed without the architect. In, in this design, actually, you have the freedom to do and move uh, the objects as you like. And uh, very often it happens that um, in time of um, designing, you have one idea. But when you start putting all the containers together, um, you might change your mind uh, about certain things. Now, um, this house actually is going to look pretty much very similar to uh, previous uh, projects I had so with the one exception uh, of the extra 20 feet container um, I put in here uh, the main reason I put it there is because um, I don't want to cut um, out of the living space in the house that's why um, I have put it there and I'm going to use it as a hallway um, going to the garage and as well uh, for the staircase which I'm going to place in order to go to the uh, second floor okay so what I have done right now is um, I placed another one 20 feet container which actually is going to be our garage and in this project it's very important to have it because um, it's gonna give the um, stability of the building um, when you place the containers uh, they're gonna be much more uh, stable like this um, if I leave it um, um, if I don't put the garage part uh, the garage container um, our building is not gonna be so um, stable okay I'm almost done with that so um, what I'm gonna do now yeah I'm gonna um, uh, do the uh, exterior looking of the house which I'm gonna fast forward and once I'm done with that I'm gonna come back to you um, you're gonna see the ready project and then we're gonna go for the interior design okay I'm done now with the design of the house so um, I decide this time um, to go for the natural look of the containers and just add some colors on it. Um, it's a bit more different than my style, which I usually um, um, cover all the containers with wood or um, stone or something like this. This time I decided to look, uh, leave the natural look of the containers. Mm, okay basically it's very similar to the previous designs i have done the only difference is i have add one extra um, uh, 20 feet containers in this part here so um this part is going to be our hallway the entrance plus the stairs and the um, door going through the garage mm, as you can see the first floor i have colored in black with white windows so it gives me a lot of contrast which I really like. And then the second floor, I have chosen um, dark red going to uh, brown with a, a glass um, sight, um, sights on the balconies, uh, a red, a red-ish, as you can see. Um, let me try to focus the camera a bit for you. Okay, um, that's the back side. Mm, as you see, this time I haven't uh, really worked on the um, garden and the uh, uh, outdoor design, um, the landscaping. Mm, I want to keep it as simple as possible so I can spend more time of the, uh, in the interior design. Um, I just want to give you a, a approximate look. 
So how it's um, gonna be is um, this part here is gonna be stairs going uh, to the second floor plus the hallway and the entrance to the garage. Here is the garage. Um, the other two 40 feet containers which I placed, which is um, this container here and this one here. Uh, there is gonna be actually the, our open space kitchen, dining and living room, which is gonna be approximately 60 square meters. Which for um for a room like this is quite a lot because usually a uh, living room is of the size of twenty twenty two square meters and kitchen ten to twenty, um so by combining them together I get more space to work with. Um I don't know how it's gonna look yet once I go into the um, actual interior design then we're gonna know for certain. For the moment I'm planning to have just two bedrooms. Um, which uh, one of them is going to be on this side and the other one on this side and um, most probably I'm going to add uh, both of them they're going to be on suites with a walk-in wardrobe I'm not sure yet um, we will see we will see how the project go um, it's very rare that I actually work without certain idea but I believe that the best ideas are not the planned ones and they're the spontaneous ones so um, uh, we will see shortly the outcome of it so um, here is the back side of the house as you can see I have placed them um, uh, on the whole side um, uh, back wall of the um, uh, our living room um, it's gonna be opening doors so um, in summertime you can have actually um, pretty much open open space uh, joining the living room with the garden and here is another one side door which I have but in this case I think it's too many doors so he might go without it and it's gonna be our small um, outdoor sitting area we have a um, small balcony for one of the bedrooms and uh, two big balconies um, on the other side okay so pretty much um, that's that's the um, exterior design of the house I'm gonna make a full round so you can see um, here is another detail I decide to put uh, complete glass walls on this side in this design but um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep them in the actual in the actual design uh, the interior design um, I will see I will see how it's gonna work out and the same here uh, full glass um, wall plus um, glass doors okay um, I'm gonna go now to the other program we're gonna set it up and we're gonna I'm gonna start showing you how it works okay we are ready with the first part of the video now I'm doing the second part where I'm gonna do the interior design I'm you I'm using chief architects premiere x5 in order to do that which is not a program for designing this kind of house but um, uh, what I decide to do is I'm gonna build a um, uh, construction which is absolutely the same size as the containers as you can see here um, this is gonna be the base of our first floor <coughs> where we have here the two 40 feet containers joined together plus the one uh, 20 feet container um, plus the, the other uh, 20 feet container which is gonna be our garage and then when we go on the top floor we have joined two of the 40 feet containers when I go on a um, full overview now you have to remember that I cannot make absolutely the same colored designs in this program as in the other one so we're gonna use this one just for the interior design and the other one for the exterior design as you can see I try to mm, make almost the same way as the um, other one <coughs> so um, as you can see them here mm, this is how it's gonna be our um, our house and um, I'm going to start with the with the interior design very shortly and um, we can actually see how the house is gonna look now mm, if we want to place the doors we can actually start with the exterior design um, when I'm gonna place the door 
here. Um, I'm going to choose this door now. I'm going to modify it. I'm going to make actually double doors in here. Um, okay. I'm going to change the designs of the doors because I'm not happy with now mm, the other thing which you should know is that um, okay I need to go to the other floor so here is our doors um, I don't have the same features as in the other uh, program which is much more realistic looking um, than this one okay basically that's how they're gonna look i like to have a double door for the entrance because mm, this is gives us much more opportunities now i want to turn them around Okay. Okay, the doors they're gonna be open opening to outside, not to inside because <coughs> otherwise it's gonna get a lot of space. Okay, so um basically that's our design. Now I'm gonna try and break this wall here. And I'm gonna try to redesign it. We're gonna open the space between um, the small container and um, the big container. Here is gonna be the joining. Um, here we have to place uh, one normal door going to the garage. And we're gonna place the windows. Um, I'm gonna try to give you an, a view from inside now remember I haven't done yet the, the floor designing and um, <coughs> the rest but basically once you go inside the first floor that's how it's gonna look um, once we start placing the furniture in here then you can get the actual uh, view of um, the size we have in here um, here obviously is gonna be our uh, stairway for upstairs which um, I'm gonna place shortly so um, I think the painting we're gonna leave it uh, in the end I can start with creating the kitchen tune the kitchen units now I'm not happy with the positions of our windows which I want to get a bit higher so it gives me um, more space to work with the kitchen okay and we're starting starting with the base cabinets which i'm gonna have like this as you can see i would have to change the view i think of the Okay, if I can get it right. Okay, so we carry on in here. Okay. I'm gonna try to give as much more space possible in into our kitchen now I think that this is not a good idea to be exactly here so I'm gonna leave my space for the fridge in this side and I'm gonna place a um, couple more 
um, units in here. Okay, so I believe this that this is fine. Now mm, I would have to move a bit the windows. Mm, let me have a look how it's gonna be exactly. Um, okay. I think about um, that one of the main features in one house is actually the the kitchen. So for me, it's very important how the kitchen is gonna look like. Um, certainly, in this case, I believe that the best thing is to remove one of the windows. So we leave just one window, um, and we can start putting the the wall units. which in this case will be like this okay Okay, so here are our units. I will make a bit smaller the window so I have a space to put some more. Um, as you all know, it's very important to to have enough space in the kitchen for storing anything um, you need, basically. Um, I'm not sure if you're gonna like uh, the the specific design I'm doing but um, I'm gonna change the colors and um, the look of uh, the kitchen shortly I'm going to place a fridge now okay need to find um, double door refrigerator which in this case is gonna be this one I'm not happy that I don't have okay I think that this is all right now what I would like to do is um, I think that making a plot to the kitchen is uh, pretty old fashioned now so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it and build um, a unit here which I'm gonna modify okay. okay I'm gonna go out of the 3d I'm gonna go back to the basic 2D so I can work easily okay and here is the other one and here is the other one I'm gonna move them around actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the video for a second I'm gonna fix my kitchen the way I like it I think you got the idea already and once I'm done with the kitchen I'm gonna show you the final result okay guys I'm done with my project basically what I did is um, because doing the interior design it got me a lot of time um, I'm not used to working perfectly with this program but in a couple of tries I'm gonna be better I promise so um, what I've done is um, I have created the kitchen the dining room um, here is the living area 
Here is the stairways for upstairs garage. And now when we go upstairs, we having um, two bedrooms, quite cooked sizes, um, approximately about 20, almost 20 square meters each, which is pretty good for bedroom. Plus uh, both of them are with uh, uh, their own suite. Now there is an option um, to have one, um, only one um, the bathroom in the middle and to use the other one as a spare um, a room or a smaller, smaller bedroom. You can fix them uh, any way you like. I, I did it like this because I thought that it's going to be better. Now, I'm going to show you a um, couple of um, pictures, not pictures, I will put some cameras around um, um, the house so you can see it in 3D. But also I filmed um, um, a, a video of all the house, uh, with walk through the house, 3D dimension. Now, um, I'm not so good with focusing the cameras, so um, somewhere I lost it. I mean, um, you can see the whole house, but in some places I just couldn't focus the camera the way I want it. Anyway, I'm going to give you um, the first look from when you come from the entrance. The whole point of um, my project is to show you um, to show you the space you're gonna get from a house like this. Um, that thing. Then um, once you come through the doors, here is the stairway for upstairs. Here is um, here is the door for the garage, and then coming through is the dining room. Now I have to go out of this set and put your new camera so I can show you the whole living area I did. Mm. And have in mind that all these rooms are perfectly measured. I measured every single inch of them so I make sure that I get absolutely the same space as in real. Um, I haven't modified them or making bigger and smaller. They're exactly the size of the containers I, I used to build the house okay so here is our kitchen as you can see I try to add some details so I make it look more realistic here we have our dining room and here is the living room um, I don't know when I zoom the camera if you can see something more or no um, anyway um, I just wanted to show you uh, before I put the video on for you and now I'm gonna go to the second floor Mm, and you're gonna see here I'm gonna put you straight away for the first bedroom <coughs> the look for the, the first bedroom it's very basic um, um, design I didn't put a lot of effort of doing um, the perfect design it's all about uh, seeing the space you're gonna get from this house so basically here is the bedroom you have a lot of space now here is the two, uh, the one door for the one balcony and from this side is the other door for the other balcony. You have space for uh, pretty much anything you're gonna need and here is the ensuite bathroom. And um, I'm going to show you now the second bedroom and with this I'm going to finish uh, with this project. <coughs> Okay, here is the second bedroom, pretty much similar, the same, here is the, um, here is the bathroom door, you have a window, and here is the small balcony you got. Okay, and I'm going to put you the videos now, unfortunately I'm not going to be talking through the videos, so um, that's all from me. If you want to know anything more, or ask me questions, or you want to comment, um, do so. Thank you for watching and you're gonna hear from me soon.